experience has been like for some and to hear it firsthand we have Dr. Shea Corbin here with us. He is the head of the Returning Students Association. And we also have Christopher Lee, a Chinese student with us. Good morning. Good morning, Shea. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Great to have you all on. Uh, Dr. Corbin, I want to start with you as you're the head of the Returning Students Association. And I mean, everyone now is looking forward to tomorrow, the 25th, for the big open day at the Confucius mm. Institute. What can you tell us about the experience for Beijing's studying and uh, living in China? I think it's I think it's especially important, uh, perhaps even more in these times, for Beijing's to set out into the world and take first hand and knowledge. And as uh, in the news these days, there's a lot going on to do with China. And it sure helps to have some first-hand knowledge of, of, of life, uh, the way of life and the people uh, in, in China. Coming from a vastly different, I find it is one of the best options for a student in season study in China. One of the furthest away possible. I went, uh, wow. I went in 2004 and study traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, nice. I can continue, I can and I'm looking forward to Confucius Day as well. That's one of the best launching pads on here for students uh, to get prepared for study in China. And then you wonder what it's like on the other way around when you have, you know, um, Chinese who come to Barbados and and they are also then learning a different culture, a different language. And Christopher, welcome to Morning Barbados. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Talk to us about your experiences. So um, fortunately for me, I would have gone to Beijing, China in 2016, but I am a Caribbean Chinese person uh, here with Barbadian roots. And so one of the things that you never expect is that when you live in China, work or study, is that it's nothing compared to what, you, what you're expecting. It's such a unique experience to each student because there are so many different places where the students are stationed in different universities. For me, being in Beijing, it's a metropolis, so I was able to interface not only with Chinese people from all over China, but as well as many other students from different countries that I never would have heard of before, such as Eastern Europe, the Pacific Islands, Eastern Africa as well. So it's it's a very it was a very fulfilling experience thus far. Were you yeah. one of the so, sorry sorry Shane but um were you <laughs> one of the Caribbean Chinese who only spoke English or were you aware of 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 that part of your heritage? You were able to speak the language. Were you lucky in that sense? So um one kind of fun fact a lot of people don't know is so the official language in China is Mandarin. Mandarin. And, mm -hmm. Yes, but a lot of the Chinese that are here in the Caribbean actually come from the southern part of China, which oh. is in Guangzhou, and they speak a completely different language called um, Cantonese. Ah. Uh, I, I, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something that not a lot of people know, and even a lot of the food that we get in our Chinese restaurants, um, a lot of them who are members of the Chinese Association of Barbados, because we have one of those here, a lot of it is Southern Chinese cuisine. Okay. Wow. So that, you yeah, learn something it. every day. <laughs> exactly. Wow. And that's what this whole educational experience helps us to do from both ends. A lot of Chinese to understand how different um, the different Caribbean islands are, as well as when the Caribbean and Barbadian students go over there and how big and different Chinese culture is. Amazing. Okay, so I want to hear from both of you on this one. How is it to learn that new language, Mandarin? How difficult I'll is let it? Change. <laughs> I'll let Che go first. <laughs> it, it's, it's difficult. Before I, before I left, I didn't learn the Business Institute then, uh, but I went, I head on out anyway. Uh, and you just keep at it. It's like a sport. 
you, you put yourself in the, in the environment and keep going. Sooner or later, you're going to learn. <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely have to echo that with Che. It's a continuous learning process. Mm. Yeah, and I, I mean, I could, I could only imagine. I have a, a friend that went, uh, and well, he, ah. it's almost like you're never fluent. In, it's almost like you, you just keep learning, as you said, as a continuous process. So, I mean, what can we expect now as we look to the future? Uh, the pandemic came and it kind of uh, put a, a halt to many things. So as we look ahead, what can we expect for these Beijing Chinese relations as we look to encourage more of our students, as you said, to take that leap of faith and go to China and learn something new? Well, I think I for mean, sure. One of, oh, sorry, sorry go ahead, Jay. Think, uh, sorry, Chris. I, 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 I think things will, things will smooth right ahead back to China uh, to, to continue his studies. Uh, uh, just last night, I was on the phone to my university as well, looking to continue mine. At the moment, we can't get back into China uh, this month, next month, uh, but eventually forward to next year. Mm. And oh, so I encourage, I encourage our youngsters to look into it now, get ready, uh, talk, to, talk to our Ministry of Education down here about scholarships, uh, get involved with Confucius Institute. Or, and give us return scholars a, a, an email. <laughs> return scholars Indeed. 246. Return scholars 246. So, yeah. and, and probably what we, I owe with that as well is just that with the embassy and the Confucius Institute, we do have orientations every year to the new scholarship students. And we continue to reinforce the message that you are all ambassadors for Barbados and by extension for the Caribbean. And so even though a lot of us cannot physically go back, it still doesn't, uh, it still allows us the opportunity to maintain those relationships which we've garnered at school or in a professional setting as well. And being that Barbados has really made some great strides through the embassy there and by the forming an investment office, it shows that we are really actively interested um, and to know more about Chinese people and Chinese culture. And I can only have high hopes for this relationship between Barbados and China. Excellent. And thank you so much for, for, for teaching me today because I never knew. My goodness. Thank you. Yes, Jay, you, had, you what, said... What, what Chris is saying is very interesting and true. Mm -hmm. uh, when, one, when one studies in uh, perhaps China or Far East country, where people there don't really know Barbados. Yeah, and, and so one is going into this environment where you're really and truly uh, an ambassador for, your, for our, our great nation, Barbados, uh, and introducing mm -hmm. our country to, 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 to people who don't, who don't know about it yet. Yeah. And I, I, listen, and people can get a bit, a bit more of a taste of China. I just want to remind our viewers about this uh, tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is the Confucius Institute's open day. Uh, so you can go and check that out at the UWI. A lot of information. And for you students who are interested in following in the footsteps of Dr. Corbin and uh, Christopher Lee here, you can get all of that information tomorrow. You can just go to the website, www.abcf-bb.com. That's the Association for Barbados China Friendship, their website and get more information about the open day and other details there. Gentlemen, thank you for coming and sharing with us thank you. Uh, this morning. Uh, you're more than welcome, Bukatsi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank you for having It means us. you're welcome in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Bukatsi, <then. laughs> Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Okay. I got that right. Some inspiration, no, some inspiration. <laughs>